If you want to maximize the health benefits you can get from eating broccoli, always use the chop, rate, cook method when cooking broccoli. That is, after chopping or cutting broccoli, always wait for an hour or more before cooking the broccoli. This is to maximize the amount of sulforaphane you can get from eating broccoli. Sulforaphane is the active ingredient we get from eating broccoli that has many health benefits, including potential cancer-fighting properties. You can go read up more about the potential health benefits of sulforaphane. This video is about how we can maximize the amount of sulforaphanes we can get from eating broccoli. You see, raw broccoli contains the sulforaphane precursor, glucoraphanin, and an enzyme called myrosinase. And when raw broccoli is broken up by chopping, cutting, or chewing, the sulforaphane precursor, glucoraphanin, is then mixed with the enzyme myrosinase to form sulforaphane. Let me repeat that. Raw broccoli contains glucoraphanin, and myrosinase. But it is only when raw broccoli is broken up that they will mix together to form sulforaphane. And whilst glucoraphanin and sulforaphane are heat resistant, the enzyme myrosinase that is needed to convert glucoraphanin to sulforaphane is sensitive to heat and hence is destroyed by heat when cooking. Therefore, if you cook broccoli immediately after cutting or chopping and do not leave enough time for the enzyme myrosinase to act on the glucoraphanin to produce sulforaphane before cooking, the myrosinase will be destroyed by the heat of cooking, leaving you with a serving of cooked broccoli with little sulforaphane. But if you wait for an hour or more after cutting or chopping the raw broccoli before cooking the broccoli, you are allowing the enzyme myrosinase enough time to act on the glucoraphanin to form sulforaphane giving you a serving of cooked broccoli with a much higher level of the health-promoting active compound, sulforaphane. Hence, if you want to get more of the health-promoting sulforaphane from eating broccoli, this chop weight cook method can help maximize the amount of sulforaphane we can get from eating broccoli. Always wait for an hour or more after chopping or cutting the broccoli before cooking it. For example, when making broccoli soup, if you want to maximize the amount of sulforaphane you can get from it, use the chop, wait, then cook method. That is, instead of blending after cooking the broccoli, which is what is commonly done, you should blend or finely chop the raw broccoli first, then wait for an hour or more before cooking it. I hope you have found this episode of the Habits Pharmacy Kitchen useful.